Hi, I'm Ed from More Music and MoreGuitars.com. More Music is home base for our website, MoreGuitars.com. We're located in southern Indiana in the southwest corner. So if you look at a map down to the left, we're in the toe and the boot, okay? So um, yeah, we're a great shop that's independently owned and operated, and we sell guitars all over the country through our website. And uh, now on occasion, I'll get a customer calling and say, hey, the action is not quite what I expected or wanted, or maybe it's buzzing. Of course, we do a setup on every guitar that we ship out, but obviously we can't provide the same level of service for our customers that are out of state. And I've talked to some people through the phone about how to do a truss rod adjustment, so I want to show you how to do it too. The truss rod adjustment is the most personal adjustment you can make here for your guitar, all right? It's like adjusting the rearview mirrors in a car that you rented or a buddy of yours that you're driving, all right? Everyone's got to do everything a little bit different because everyone's different. Your playing style is different from mine. And uh, when someone asks me, I want low action, no buzz, well, you know, I have to make an educated guess. But here's how you can make this perfect for yourself every time. 99% of the time, the one tool that you need to adjust the truss rod has been included with your guitar from the manufacturer. You may need a Phillips head screwdriver depending on the access point. In this example right here, with this guitar that I have in front of me, I've got it set up to show where there's more relief than you might like, all right? Relief is the term that we use to indicate the amount of distance between the string and the neck. And how do I know that besides just not loving to play the thing? I can see it. So by sighting the neck of the guitar, I'm looking at the edge of the fretboard and the fret ends, which in a well-lit condition pop right up, all right? And the string is moving in a straight line. I look at the right side generally all the time because that's where it's easiest to see because you got the thickest string on your low E string. And by squinting, like you're sighting, I don't know, if you shoot or something, you know, you can see that a very, very slight curve is extending from the nut down the length of the neck. That is indicating that the neck is farther away from the strings. You want lower action? Bring the neck closer to the strings. That's what the truss rod does. The majority of modern guitars have a biflex truss rod. So in the instance I said about too much relief where the string is farther away, well, if there's the opposite direction where you actually have a convex neck where it's bending toward the string and hitting it, which is re resulting in too much buzz, you can turn it the other way and get the neck right where you want it to be. All this depends on how heavy handed you are, your playing style, what you like. All right. If you have your action really, really low, it makes it difficult to sometimes do any bends in the string because you just can't get underneath the string enough. Uh, if you lack your action high, a little bit higher because you're doing some slide while you're playing, you know, this is something that is easily done and caters to your style. Again, it's the most personal adjustment you can make. Most commonly, people complain of the action being a little bit higher than they like, all right? And it all depends uh, on your playing style again, but, you know, the guitar should be a joy to play. So by taking your guitar adjustment tool and setting the neck, when I turn the truss rod adjustment tool to my right, right, which is clockwise, by doing that, I'm actually forcing the neck to move closer to the string. And again, the string is working in a straight, going a straight line, and I can sight and actually see the adjustment that I'm making. And as you can see, I did a turn, you know, we think in terms of a clock, like maybe, you know, 10 minutes. Quarter turn is usually a little much, you know. So, and this is something that you can look and actually see what you've done. You know, if you'd like to do some more, then you can do it. You know, it is gonna move. You'll find a little bit of resistance, but you would really have to open up a real serious can of whip ass to break this thing. And I know that's the main thing people are worried about. You're not gonna break it, all right? So now by seeing, I can see that, yeah, the action is definitely, you know, there's less relief, all right? Since I brought the neck closer to the string, I've made the action better, all right? I made the guitar easier to play because I've diminished that distance between the string and the fretboard. The truss rod adjustment typically works from the first fret to the 12th fret, all right? There are all kinds of tools you can use to do this, all right? But not everyone has a straight edge, and frankly, you know, of course, you can, you know, manufacturers will talk to you about, you know, depressing a string at the 14th fret and, the fr and, you know, the first fret. Yes, you can do that too, but really, this is a simple way to do it, and you can get a lot of results from just doing what I'm showing you right now. Typically, when I get a call from a customer that we've sold an instrument to out of state, 
They're asking about why is my guitar buzzing? Why are the strings fretting out? And the reason is, is because I set it up to be perfectly awesome here in Southern Indiana, and now the guitar is in Oregon, all right? So what happened over the, the travel time is that the neck continued to shift a little bit this way, getting more of a convex curve. So the way you handle that, and as I've told people over the phone, what I'm telling you right now, sight the neck, take your truss rod adjustment tool, you should be able to see that curvature. And that curvature, either way, it's super, super subtle, all right? We're talking about tolerances that are measured in a hundredth of an inch. So by turning to the left, you're going to introduce relief, all right? Going the opposite direction. I'm going counterclockwise or to the left um, from my perspective. And just by turning the truss rod to the left, you introduce relief and you'll see it. The idea is to find that sweet spot. You want to also continually, you know, when you do an adjustment, tune your guitar because we want to maintain the right type of tension exerted by the strings, all right? And this is especially true if you do any kind of, you know, if you're in E flat, it's going to be a little bit different from playing in E or if you're going to extended lower range, you know, all of these things apply. But by retuning your guitar while you do this minute adjustment, you'll maintain the right amount of string tension and the truss rod will respond to that counteracting, you know, force that it's supposed to be doing. And, uh, you know, it's really that simple. This is, there's no snake oil here. You know, it comes with the tool because eventually you should be expected to do this because only you can make your guitar play exactly the way you want it to. That's my opinion. So I hope this helps demystify what is something that a lot of guitar players just will not do. Like I said, in my opinion, you can and should probably be doing this, all right? Um, of course, with older instruments, you know, that's a totally different conversation because wood does have a memory, all right? But eventually, if you get to your guitar and you take care of it properly and you keep the string, same string gauge on it and, you know, you play it so that you can notice the little minor differences, eventually wood does have a memory and, you know, you won't really need to be doing truss rod adjustments constantly, you know, with an older guitar. It'll set and it'll know where it's supposed to be and it'll know it's where it's supposed to be for you. So I hope this helps out. Give us a call sometime, drop a line, send us an email, carry a pigeon, whatever. Let us know how we can help you in the future, all right? Peace.